Yeah, we had a we had two home invasions within 36 hours, I guess. Uh, the first time the guy came in in the middle of the night, about 2:30, 3 a.m., and our back door had the sensor on it, made a very signature noise. And if you live in your house, you know the noises in your house. And for whatever reason, it just woke me up from a dead sleep, and I knew what I heard. And there's the only thing that would make that noise, so. Uh, I kind of snaked my way out the hall and down to the top of the stairs. And when I hit the top of the stairs, I heard the, the dog growl and the door close back. So I knew that was somebody leaving. We have a huge fucking dog, um, basically useless, but he did growl and he made a very primitive noise. I was proud of him. And uh, <laughs> the guy didn't come in because of that. And I so went downstairs and kind of swept the ground floor and then he was gone. Um, I didn't want to freak my wife out, so I waited till the morning to tell her. And then we called the police. Of course, one of the neighbors got it on like a ring cam in the back alley, the guy leaving and going down the street. So I had a very clear view of him. And uh, so for whatever reason, my wife and the kids, they had to go on down to where we actually live. I was working that week in Nashville, probably mixing a record or something. So I had to stay behind. And uh, as a result of me being home alone that day, I was cleaning and working on a a firearm I'd recently purchased and assembled and uh, so went to bed that night locked everything up and you know because they weren't home I put the gun on the floor on a padded case next to the bed so I'm letting the next morning it's like 7 15 a.m. like sun shining neighbors going to work I hear the back door open again and I was like this can't you know what the fuck is that, that the maid who would be here that early and I guess out of paranoia for whatever reason, I grabbed that gun and just went to the top of the stairs to look. I still think it's the maid. And when I hit the top of the stairs and looked down the staircase, same guy, same clothes, just standing in my living room, rolling the cord up on my headphones. And uh, I was like, well, all right. I was almost impressed. One that he came back, but it was just like, I couldn't believe it was happening at this time. And uh, so I started down the stairs on him very quietly. And I got about halfway down by the time he like turned and saw me and I was looking through his, at his fucking head through a red dot like a video game I'll never forget that image of this guy like probably thinking he's about to die and uh, the back door was thankfully still open and the only thing I said to him was what are we doing here man and I hit him with a strobe which kind of like probably he, to his brain was he thought was the gun going off because he kind of like seizured and then I saw the adrenaline spike uh and he turned and went out the back door and jumped clean off my fucking porch, like never hit a single step and ran at the back gate. He had latched it. And I saw this on the video later when he came in, he shut the back gate back. So he hit that back gate on a dead rant, on a dead run and just like blew it to hell. Latches and wood splinters flying and like took off down the alley. <laughs> <laughs> 